morning, everybody. How are you doing? Joel here from Golf Country. Apologies for a lot of noise, a lot of coaches arriving here on day two of the PGA show. And apologies for my extremely croaky voice. I've come to very sunny Orlando, Florida and managed to get a cold, which is not ideal. Just going to the show for a day full of meetings. Now, I know what you're probably thinking. You've seen it, all the new products that are launched in 2018. You've seen it all, there's nothing new interesting to show you. I'm going to try and change that. Hopefully, I'm going to pick out some products that you've not seen before, some really cool stuff. The golf industry, you know, from the quirky to the simple, there's a lot of interesting gadgets out there that should could help your game. For those of you who don't know, this Orange County Convention Centre is absolutely massive. It's unbelievable how big it is. So many stands, the square footage is incredible. I mean, it must be two par fives back to back. Maybe not that much, but it's very, very big. So I've just been told I can't get in until 8.30, which is ridiculous. It's now 8.18. So I've got 12 minutes to kill, and so I might as well announce the winner of the Ping Mittens that we did on our first vlog, and congratulations to David Williams. I enjoyed your comments about the vlog, and also the fact that you love a snood as much as me. So um, we'll get those out to you, David. We'll send you a message. As always, thanks to everyone for the support of the vlogs. It sounds like you guys really enjoy it and I'm going to be doing more and more cool stuff. So keep liking the videos and hit subscribe if you haven't already. As you can probably tell, I'm not still at the PJ Merchandise Show. I'm back home to film this talk through of my favorite five products from the show. Thanks, Mum. I was very busy during the day and actually got quite ill towards the end of the week, which was annoying, but it's given me a chance to have a think about my favorite products from the show. And yeah, I'm going to pick, pick my five for you now. Um, just want to talk about the show really. For those of you who don't know, PJ Merchandise Show, I say it every year, but there was a really good buzz and excitement about what's coming in 2018 and that's all down to the product. We met some really nice people and some not so nice people. And that, that excitement comes from the product, it's all about the product. And I picked five of my favourites, which I'm going to talk you through now. Product number one. The first product I picked is the Bushnell Hybrid. I haven't got one, I've got the little leaflet here which tells you all about it. Now, first thing to note that I have to tell you, it doesn't come out until May 2018 in the UK, so I've got a bit of a wait for this, but I'll give you a sneak peek of it. This is laser and GPS combined. There's a few things I really like about it. The first thing is when you pick it up, it's so lightweight, you cannot believe how lightweight it was. Bushnell said, you know, by their own admission, their previous hybrids were really heavy. This one definitely isn't, it's super, super lightweight. I love the viewfinder, so you've obviously got your little tracer there which picks out the flag, but what you also get is front and back distances displayed in the viewfinder of the laser, as well as on the side of the kind of unit itself. So you've got multiple options in terms of the way you want to access the distances that you need. It's Bluetooth as well, so any course updates for the GPS distances update via Bluetooth via the app, so no need to plug a cable in or anything like that. The other thing I like about this unit is how the GPS and the laser run off different batteries. One of them is just a kind of normal battery that you put in, whereas the other one is like a rechargeable battery that you plug charge via a cable. It means that if one runs out of battery, the other one's still going and vice versa. Potentially a bit of extra faff there charging them both or replacing them both, but from what I've seen, this is a really impressive um, product. Obviously I've not tried it out on the course yet, I've already had a, a play with it on the show, but initial impressions are it's really impressive. Product number two. Next is the new Galvin Green Edge Collection. Now this is kind of more of a fashion-led collection from Galvin Green. 
Uh, it's super premium, more premium than their current kind of normal golfing range. It's, like I said, very fashion led, so more off course than on course, although you can obviously wear it both on course and off course. There's 17 pieces in the line, and they're only going to be available at very limited locations. Only 15 doors, I think, are going to stock this. There's a mix of all sorts of different types of product. You've got like bomber jackets, more fashion led pieces. There's things almost look like tracksuit bottoms kind of thing. There's like jumper style pieces. So it's really innovative, different thing that Galvin Green are doing with this. Uh, really thinking outside the box, combining fashion with a little bit of performance and style. Not available until later this year. Going to be really, really super premium products, but really impressive nonetheless. Product number three. Next is the Footjoy 1857 range. 1857 is the year that Footjoy started making golf shoes. This is a super, super premium range of shoes, gloves, clothing, basically the best of what they can make. Uh, I'm going to let Rich Fryer from Footjoy talk you through a little bit about what it's all about. FJ 1857 is a collection of products that's really aimed at that discerning golfer, the golfer who says, hey, I just want the absolute best of what you can make. I want the finest materials, I want them to be put together by craftsmen and the, the amount of care and detail that I want to be involved in it and to a degree the price is not the issue, I just want to feel the absolute best I possibly can and the range we put together is really exciting, it encompasses uh, footwear, so we're talking Italian leathers, Goodyear welts, uh, full leather outsoles and on the apparel side materials like cashmere, Supima cotton, uh, mercerized cotton, those kind of products as well as well as a fantastic glove. It's, it's, it's very much about the product, it's also about the, the packaging, the whole experience and answering that consumer need. So there you go, that explains what it's all about. I had a look at all the products, I think they're great. The shoes are fantastic. I love Footjoy Icon shoes, those classic saddle shoes uh, and those wingtip options as well are fantastic. Can't wait to get my hands on them. Unfortunately, it's not available until 2019, so we've got a long way to wait until we can get our hands on those. They're very expensive, they're only going to be you know, super, super premium priced, but nonetheless, there are some fantastic products in there and that's why they've included in this video. Number four. Next up is PupView. PupView is like a kind of, well, I don't know what you call it. It's basically a technology that projects the path of the putt on the green. So it allows you to see how a ball will slope and travel around the slopes. It gives you, it shows you that every putt is straight, shows you where the apex of the putt is, where it's going to start breaking, uh, gives you a visual aid of how the ball is going to roll on certain slopes. Uh, it projects contours on the green. It's a fantastic visual tool. What the benefits are to the consumer, I'd say it's going to help you see how putts break, how much you need to allow for certain slopes. Where you can do it, I don't know. When you can do it, I don't know. Um, but all I'd say is that if I'm talking about the five coolest products from the show, visually, this putt view system is definitely one of the most spectacular products I've seen. I can't wait to have a try on it. Whether it's like a practice tool or a teaching tool or a bit of both, that's for you to decide, but visually it's fantastic and I really like it, so that's why I've included it in this video. And last, but by no means least, number five. Is the new Evenroll putters. Now, Evenroll, I've been a massive fan of their ER range. The face technology really, really works in terms of gearing the ball back to centre on off-centre hits and also managing speed so that distance control when you don't quite strike the middle of the putter face is very consistent. Definitely one of the most effective face technologies on the market. I'd say even roll pretty underrated in terms of the putters they produce. They are an American company but they are on sale in certain locations here in the UK and they've added five new models to the line and previously I'd love to have used an even roll putter last year but they never did an out and out blade, kind of full toe hang blade, which is the kind of style of putter that I use. I don't really want to move away from that. But now they've got one in the ER 1.2. And I was chatting to Gurin Rife, who's the kind of creator of it, he's the brains behind it. Fascinating to talk to him about the intricacies of milling a putter from scratch, which is what they do. You know, they've got a block of metal and they mill it in various different places. All sorts of uh, fine millings here or there. There's kind of hollowed out parts of the hosel altered the way the, the, the milling of the heel and toe areas, slightly thicker in some areas, slightly thinner in others, to really get the centre of gravity right in the middle of the putter face. And when you hit one out of the middle, it feels so pure, but you know that if you don't hit one out of the middle, you've got the technology there that's going to help keep the ball on line and also not leave the putts too far short or go too far past. 
technology works, it's combined with fantastic craftsmanship, they look great, you know, so you get that pure traditional look and feel with added technology thrown in as well. So uh, five new shapes, there's some centre shafted options and they're super high MOI mallet as well if that's your kind of game, but for me, the ER 1.2 blade is fantastic, I can't wait to give it a try. So that's it, hope you enjoyed my roundup of the 2018 PGA show, thanks for watching the video, if you liked it hit like, subscribe if you haven't already and comment, we'd love to know what you think. Firstly, what was your favourite product of the five? What are you most looking forward to trying? And also let us know about these weekly vlogs, do you like what we're doing, do you want to see us doing some different things? Uh, we'd love to hear from you so make sure you comment, let us know uh, what you want to be seeing from these weekly vlogs, it um, be great to hear from you. Uh, but for now, thanks for watching and we'll see you again next week.